Okay, here we go. So I've stuck all of my little snakes onto the backbone and I can read off this code. So I have an A, G, A, T, C, and G. And now, so here's a strand of DNA floating around your cell. I want to assemble a new strand of DNA that will match up. So we know that A always bonds with a T. So I'm going to add on a T to that one. We know a G always goes with a C. So I'll put that one on there. I'll keep going. So A goes with T. And here's a T that will go with an A. C goes with a G. And G will go with a C. This is exactly how your DNA replicates itself. Matches up all of the base pairs so that they're with their partners. And then I'm going to get my other bit of my backbone and chuck that on. Like that. So I can make the end of this strand. There we go. And now I can pick up my little DNA ladder and I can twist it like that. And I have made a double helix. So I've got my backbone and all of my base pairs in the middle. There is my lolly double helix. So if you can get a hold of some lolly snakes, or you could use black licorice and whatever I don't know, jubes, whatever soft lollies you like, marshmallows, whatever your parents will let you do. Or you could just draw it in your book. There we are. There is your own little DNA double helix.